Hi, it's Karen Art with 360 Alberta and today I am east of Edmonton in Vegerville at the Vegerville Corn Maze and there's a ton of activities for the whole family. Um, I encourage everybody to stop out and have a look. Welcome to the Corn Maze. <laughs> Forget who's taken you home and in whose arms you're gonna be. Oh, darling, save the last dance for me. So the concept of the Vegerville Corn Maze came about by uh, just the idea of having, uh, wanting to have local community groups and uh, clubs to come together to fundraise for themselves. And uh, with the help of the town of Vegerville, the, by the use of their property, and by them facilitating us through the tourism board, uh, the Vegerville Corn Maze uh, Committee was created and we we're able to uh, put this together for all the groups to come and fundraise for themselves. The idea evolved with three, uh, three of us individuals uh, thinking about what we could do for the community and the community groups. So the thought of the corn maze came up and uh, we tossed it around probably for about a year and just seeing how we can get people involved. Uh, so we did get word from the town that this would be a good idea and uh, so the uh, ground was broken in the fall of 2019 with hopes of seeding it in the spring of uh, 2020. So uh, as we know COVID all came about but we still pushed ahead. We found partners that were willing to partner with us to help us make it happen and we proceeded with seeding it and then uh, as things went on uh, we got more uh, community groups involved in like uh, the Vegreville Visual Artists, the Kinsmen, uh, Rotary, uh, and a, a few a few others as well uh, and uh, this turns out it's such a group effort everybody put in to make it a success for our first year ever we all were worried about uh, what was happening with COVID we didn't know if it would go ahead but we went ahead anyways to see if it would happen and it did so uh, the response has been uh, wonderful and the support of the community and surrounding area has been really good to date and uh, it gives something for everybody to do uh, economically for families and uh, we just want to keep, keep seeing it move forward and the more community groups get involved and be able to help themselves uh, by fundraising here uh, that's what our wish is to continue in the future. So we opened in the last uh, week of uh, weekend of September and then this weekend uh, what is going on here is a uh, music arts and culture weekend. Now next weekend we have a harvest theme weekend so Saturday is going to be a really big day for us uh, on uh, October the 10th so uh, the Pesanka Park Market will be here and you're going to see all your favorite vendors from there out here as well. Uh, we also are going to have a uh, pony ride out here from the Thistle Hill Petting Zoo and Pony Rides and also we're going to have Hitch Masters out here doing uh, horse-drawn wagon rides as well for the whole weekend and uh, that, and we will have live music as well so it's another action-packed weekend and we're just hoping for really nice weather uh, the times for the events every day start at 12 o'clock noon and end at 6 p.m. and for our final weekend October 17th it's going to be a Halloween themed weekend so the Kinsman Club of Vegreville is going to be uh, taking charge of that one so you'll want to get down and check that out uh, you know the thing is, uh, our corporate sponsors, we just wouldn't be able to do that without any of this without them. And our uh, community groups that got involved really what make this all a success. It's the teamwork and working better together, which is really important for a community of our size to survive these days. And it's really showing through this year of how the community is coming together to make this a success. And we wish to all see you out at the Vegreville Corn Maze. It's been a great day here in Vegreville at the Corn Maze, uh, the first annual. So there's a couple more weekends coming up. Uh, there's this following weekend and then also the Halloween theme. So don't, uh, don't forget to get out here and check it out. It's amazing. They've had a ton of people come through from all over the province, even Saskatchewan. So for 360 Alberta, I'm Karen Arndt.